Hello there, folks. Hey, this uh, video is going to talk about how you can create some kind of a heartbeat to monitor the status of your communications from a PLC to a Redline device if a Redline device is acting as a slave or a server. If we're just a slave or server, we're just feeding data up and we do not know whether we've lost connection to the PLC that's pulling us. Because honestly, as a slave driver, uh, in this case, if I go look at my database, I have over here, I've picked the protocol Modbus Slave, and below there I've got the device, and then I've added gateway blocks because I'm designing a slave, so I'm basically just feeding this data up, and that's it. I don't know a way to monitor this connection uh, to see if it's alive. Now, what I've done here, though, uh, instead, is I'm getting, I've told the, the customer, tell the customer, I says, hey, tell them to send to us as a slave, send us a heartbeat, send us something that will change once a second from say zero to one or something that we can monitor. But if we notice that over a period of time that thing doesn't change, then we can maybe trigger a fault and say, hey, I've lost comms to the PLC. So in this example, I'm actually getting from the <clears throat> PLC what I call a heartbeat, and uh, they're just sending a zero or a one every second. It's just oscillating. So on my display page, I'm showing that here's a heartbeat, and I got it live here, team. I have, here's my Modbus Master. The heartbeat's actually just counting up from 0 to 59, and then if I monitor bit 0 of that, there's the heartbeat right there. So it's coming across, and you can just see it goes 0 to 1, and it oscillates. And then I've got some counters here, if you will, that's kind of doing some things here. But uh, I'm going to show the demo, and then I'll show you how it works. So if I turn off the Modbus Master, or just do a disconnect the cable, I'll do a commit and reset here. This will do a commit and reset here. I want you to notice what happens to the counter over here. <clears throat> so after five seconds goes by, this thing, of course, keeps counting, but you notice that comms loss, stop the press, we've lost communications to the PLC master. Now, this HMI is currently recycling power, and when it comes back up, watch what happens here. Should be about to go live here, I think. I heard it beep. We're looking to see here. There we go. So you see this, and this should this web browser should update, but it's now live again and polling. And this should refresh. I don't know why the web server hasn't uh, refreshed, but it will catch up here eventually and start. Maybe I'll do a refresh here. Shouldn't have to. That should do it. Anyway, so that's kind of what's going on here. Really, give a kidney. You get, you know, I go to start to make a video and it does this to me. It's just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. It's fascinating. Honestly, it's absolutely fascinating. How does that happen? I don't know, Bob. See, now it's back. Wonderful. No, really? Oh, well, it'll come back. It's just, there it is. That's strange. You saw it live, folks. No smoke and mirrors here. Just wonderful. Anyway, back here to the demo. The way this works is I've got a tag in my slave that is as a flag tag because I'm just monitoring a zero one. That's all I'm doing here. And then over in programs, I've written a couple programs. I have heartbeat zero. It says, hey, if heartbeat equals zero, then it takes a counter and adds one to the counter. If heartbeat doesn't equal zero, it resets the counter. Now, I want you to notice. That was the zero there. If I go to heartbeat one, I said, wait a minute. If heartbeat equals one, then I'm going to add up counter one to one. Notice the difference. This one is counter zero. This one's counter one. And if they keep oscillating, I keep resetting both counters. If one of these stays on for a period of time, then I'll get some counts. Now, the next question you're going to ask yourself is, where am I calling these programs? Well, in this application, over on the left here, go to display pages, click up on pages. And I'm calling those programs right here in the on tick. And I'm just calling both of them here by clicking the edit button. And then I went down here to programs and I simply drug one of them over here, did a comma, drug the other one over and clicked OK. Could have also done complex, put them there as well. Anyway, so that's where I'm calling it. And then uh, if I go to these counter tags over here, these integer tags, these are the counts. Notice team, they're just internal tags, nothing special there. But on the alarms tab, I want you to notice something. I have picked an event mode of absolute high. 
I can make the number different, but I basically put in five. So after five seconds goes by or five counts, this thing is going to trip and say, comms lost, stop the press. It's going to do that if it's stick in a one number or if I click on zero, if it sticks in a zero number, it's going to show that. And then I left the acceptance to automatic on both of these so that once it gets refreshed, uh, the signal starts counting again, it'll clear the air. And that's exactly what you saw happen in the demo there, team. So if I go back to our demo here, there's the Modbus slave. Here it is. You can see it's all working great and everything's going good. Heartbeat here, what have you. If I hit the reset button, this guy cycle power, the stop counts. But look, this guy starts counting. So wait a minute. I've had too many numbers that went by that no change. It now causes an error. So that's a simple way that you can monitor something uh, as a Modbus slave device. The only catch to this, there is one catch. And that is whoever is the master, whoever is the Modbus master that's polling us, where's my database, they need to send across in some register a flag tag or a Boolean tag or something that's going to oscillate once a second for this application. And it has to go from 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1 across to monitor this. And that's what I'm doing here. Pretty simple application. Anyway, give me a call if you got any questions or send me an email. I'll be great to... Uh, share these databases with you. Have a great day. See you. Bye.